Good morning, Chef Danks. Good morning. Tell me about yourself. How and why did you get into pastry design? Well, I grew up in a small farming town in Michigan, and I had vegetarian parents. How small was it? Uh, it was about 1,200 people. It was a village. Tell us about how you met Chris Northmore, got into that program. I had a job working six days a week, and then on my day off, I would go in and work for free with uh, Chef Northmore. And at first, it was just sifting flour. You know, the first, actually, the first week, he wouldn't let me touch anything. I just stood in the corner and watched. And then he let me sift some flour and scale out a few ingredients. And uh, that went on for about a year, and the position finally opened. And he had a long waiting list, it was about three years. And since I had come and worked for free, he put me at the front of the list and uh, let me interview. And got the job and worked with him for a couple years. I look back to when I was in culinary school, I'm sure none of the instructors would have thought I'd made it this far. I wasn't the best student, didn't always study or do my homework. And uh, that's kind of helped me be a little more understanding with the students I teach today. I can't, you can't judge the students just on their current performance because they can all be successful. So tell me about your competitive spirit and what sort of drives you to make these create, take on these creative challenges in these competitions. I had a, a keen eye for attention to detail and that helped and also following the rules. Um, it's amazing how many people will, not, will just skim over the rules and make up their own as they go. But attention to detail, following the rules, those are some of my strengths that get me ahead in the competitions. Uh, creativity, uh, solving problems. When you are in the middle of a competition, you can't really go back and start over, so sometimes you have to come up with a solution, a creative solution on the fly. So tell us a little more about your adventure side. The trip I went over to Europe, it was a, uh, a grand prize for a competition. I had to take a cab up to this uh, small town where the Chocolate Academy was because they didn't have a train that ran up there. Went into a camera shop and the guy said hello. So right away, I, he knew I wasn't from the area. And I told him why I was there and, and uh, he introduced me to the guy who owned the bakery, Hebert just looked at me and uh, pointed to an apron and then he pointed to me and nodded his head. I was like, okay. So next couple of days I, I helped him out. He couldn't speak English, I couldn't speak French, but when he asked me to make certain pastries, that was the common language that we had. I learned a lot just in those couple of days, formed a bond, you know, and uh, we stayed in contact. My first big competition was the Rich's Alliant Food Service Competition in New York, where I won $10,000, and that appeals to my competitive spirit. I've competed in the Southern Pastry Classic against great names such as Natasha Capper. I like to compete, and I like to win. So how do you think it'll turn out? Well, victorious, of course. <laughs> I'll be victorious. I'll be victorious. I'll be victorious.